Low Earth orbit is the region of space running from 300 kilometers to 2,000 kilometers. It's the innovation lab for the space industry. It's the jumping off point for our space ambition. It's where some of the most important assets we have as a global community are. The International Space Station, the Hubble Space Telescope, uh, communication satellites, Earth imaging satellites that we use every day. Increasingly, it's where large numbers of smaller, cheaper satellites are going. They're organized so that lots of satellites are flying at similar altitudes. There's more and more satellites being dropped off together. They need to maneuver around each other and they need to pay attention to other satellites and of course to the space debris environment around them. Debris is becoming a bigger and bigger problem. Everything moves so quickly that if you get hit by even a small piece of debris, your satellite can turn into another cloud of debris which then threatens everybody else. A small piece of debris, just a couple centimeters in size, has the kinetic energy of a piano moving at 60 miles per hour. International agencies like NASA and the European Space Agency recognize the importance of this problem, the need to track all that orbital debris. But currently, we're only tracking about 13,000 objects in low Earth orbit. That's only about 5% of the objects that are two centimeters and larger. And we believe at LEO Labs, we have the critical solution for this problem. LEO Labs is architected to be the international platform for space traffic safety. Starting next year, we're going to be tracking the other 95%. LEO Labs is a very unique company because we have a mix of very unique and advanced hardware systems, which is our phased array radars, but we also develop this software platform that allows application developers to connect to us. We are often called the Google Maps of space. We're building the base layer map of the low Earth orbit environment. It's a dynamic map, it's changing. It shows where the satellites are, where the debris is, where the new satellites are going, and where satellites are being taken out of orbit. We currently operate two radar systems, one in Midland, Texas, and a radar in Alaska. If you're gonna track satellites and debris in LEO, you need to be using radar, because radar works during the daytime. Radar sees through clouds, uh, and we basically run our radars around the clock producing a continuous feed of information about what's going on in LEO. Today, I'm proud to announce the next radar in our network. It's in New Zealand. But New Zealand has always taken a very active role in preserving their own environment, and they're taking that philosophy to space. I am thrilled to be able to welcome LEO Labs to New Zealand to be part of our Innovative Partnerships program, and we can explore what we can achieve together. Space is the Wild West. There really aren't uh, traffic management rules. In order for satellites and the satellite industry to be successful, they need to make sure the environment is clean. Debris is the number one threat to safe operations, and we need to prevent its creation. There is no other entity doing what we're doing. We're building out a unique suite of services that's addressing a really important problem that we need to address if we want to fulfill our ambitions in space.